You ask big questions too when you get older. The big questions hit you. You know, as you, how long are you gonna last? Your eyes are this bad. How it's gonna? Sure, you know, ten thousand years ago with this eyesight, I would be dead. You too. You'd be dead. Ten thousand years ago, you'd be dead. Those are thick. You'd be dead real fast, <laughs> right? We'd be dead. We'd be out in the woods chasing furry, blurry, moving stuff with our spear backwards. We don't know. We don't know. We're like sneaking up on a bison. Oh, it's a bear. And now we're dead because we poked a grizzly with the blunt end of our spear. It's a fatal mistake. We'd be like a people hunting story told by bears. Just once I had one sneak up on me and then he like poked me with a stick. Then he run right into a tree. That I am not, ask Ursa, she was there. You remember Ursa, you asked, pa to God. Seriously, I scat you not. <laughs> Nature doesn't put up with bad eyeballs, does it? It doesn't put up with it. There's, <laughs> there's no cross-eyed cheetahs on the Serengeti. <laughs> Out there chasing two perfectly synchronized gazelles. Like, wow, these guys must rehearse forever. <laughs> they are good. No bald eagles with lazy eyes. <laughs> the zoo there are, there's a bunch of the zoo. <laughs> but in nature, if you're like a far-sighted woodpecker, let me explain. Far-sighted woodpecker's in trouble. That means you can't see up close. That's not good for a woodpecker. It can't like back up and squint. It can't adjust its eyesight with its beak like I can. Can't ask a buddy, are these maggots on the log? Well, it's dead because it has bad eyesight. It's just, bad eyesight's not compatible with hunting and gathering. That's what we used to have to do. We were all hunters and gatherers. All of it. it used to be if you wanted meat, you had to like chase it down with a rock or a stick. You had to run down the meat. Now you can just walk it down. It's right in the fridge. This is meat speed. I'm working at meat speed right now. You just go over to the fridge and get a sandwich. Easy. Sometimes though, even that's too much work. Isn't it? You've had a long day of doing this and you are tuckered out. <laughs> My phalanges are pooped. You go over the fridge, you're gonna scare up a sandwich. You do your pre-sandwich, make an inventory, right? Okay, we got the lettuce, the tomatoes, no more craft singles, dang it! <laughs> now I have to slice the tomatoes and the cheese? I can't, can't manually slice cheese, I don't have the tools or the skill. The knife's gonna swerve in the cheddar and I'm gonna have a cheddar doorstop <laughs> screwing up the cheese to sandwich flavor ratios. Oh, I gotta undo the twisty tie on the bread, which is just, who did this? It's like you're going for a merit badge on this. No oh, wrong way. It's the wrong way. It was right the first time. Do you ever give up on a sandwich? Do you ever do that? You give up, it's too hard. You gotta combine ingredients in order, then there's the t twisty tie, I'm only a man. You should go hungry, I think, if you're too lazy for the sandwich. But you don't, do you? You can just go over to the phone now and just order out the food on the phone. Aren't we failing at a very primitive level when we order out food? We are failing to feed ourselves. Hello, Domino's, I am tired and unable to feed myself. <laughs> yes, again. <laughs> and a half an hour later, I'm sitting on the couch watching a show I hate because I lost the remote. <laughs> There's a knock at the door and it, it's open. <laughs> You're not, I'm not even gonna stand up to get the food. The food is literally tracking me down now. <laughs> and now it's gonna enter my cave. For our ancestors, that's like a mastodon just wanders into the cave, then has like a heart attack over the fire. <laughs> cooking itself after rolling through a sauce puddle and over toppings, and onto sharp rocks, cutting itself into easily consumed triangles. Less than 30 minutes or the next one's free. If food doesn't fly into my top hole, 30 minutes after the phone call, someone failed. It's not me. 